hey guys, I was going to say long time no see, but actually for you it's not been that long. It feels like forever since I recorded because I had a bunch of pre-recorded videos I had been putting up and that's what you've been watching. So it's been over a week since I have sat down to film for you guys and I have a new box back here. And you guys know I love my boxy charm and I kept watching the Ipsy Plus unboxies and I kept seeing those and I kept thinking, darn, those are pretty daggum good. Maybe I need to check that one out. So I finally bit the bullet. I bought the Ipsy. I believe it's the Ipsy Plus is what it's called. Not the regular Ipsy, the small bag. This is the deluxe. This is like the boxy charm um, equivalent. So I have peeked inside, I will confess, because I was interested. I peeked inside. <laughs> So it comes in, of course, the pink box, and inside there's a little Don't Be Pretty Like Them, Be Pretty Like You. It is the Ipsy Glam Black Bag Plus, if I can talk, and it comes with a yellow styrofoam. I'm going to pull out my little drawer that I use for tabletop, and there is a card. Oh, it's a pamphlet card. It unfolds. <laughs> Guys, I have so much to tell you guys, so we're going to chit chat a little bit in this too. Because if you watch my car vlog, I give you a bunch of updates. And guys, those updates have changed in the last week. So much just happened in the last week. It is crazy. Um, first product in the box is Touch and Soul. Oh my gosh, look at the box. Look at the box. It is... Pretty Filter Glow, Waterfall Glow Cream. Look at the box. Look at the box. <laughs> and, okay, here we go. Value of $38. So that, that completely paid for the box. The box, I believe, after shipping was like $26. Oh my gosh, and I love the packaging. There is the cream. Let me read what it says. I'm going to paraphrase. We're not going to read the whole thing. Well, maybe. Looking for the most innovative skincare? Look to K Beauty brands like Touch and Soul. A lightweight cream formulated with hyaluronic acid and hydrolyzed collagen to plump, firm, and moisturize your skin. It's safe, generally enough for all skin types, including sensitive skin. Tip: After applying your toner, serums, and other skincare products, massage a dime-sized amount into your skin and tap to help it absorb. All right. Let's see what we got in here. I do like this packaging. It is sealed. And I probably will leave it sealed because I'm still working on the Elemis that we got in the boxy um, Lux. I'm going to take just a little bit of that on my finger. And then I'm going to seal it back up. Well, it smells good. It smells very spa-like. And it reminds me of a water bomb. It's clear... It's not sticky. It's very serum like. If you know what I'm, it feels very much like a serum type of skincare. So, yeah, I'll definitely use that. Um, next thing I see in here is the It Cosmetic Superhero Lash Stretch. Now, I don't know if this is the same. I guess it's the same thing as the one I'm using right now. This is not my absolute favorite mascara. This one was sent to me by a friend, Miss Courtney, so I let it sit for a while because it's a super wet formula, and to me it just clumped too much, so I let it sit for a long time, and then I used it to see, and I'm liking it better after letting it sit, so I will probably either put this one in a giveaway just because I already have one open, or put it as a backup and not open it for a while, um, but after letting it sit and kind of thicken up, I do like it better than the first time I ever tried it. I don't know if they changed the formula or what, but the first time I tried it, I did not like it at all. But this one um, retails for $24. And this is a no-flake formula enriched with exclusive elastic stretch technology, super-powered ingredients like biotin and peptides, polymers, collagen, and it helps build your lashes from the inside out. Typically, Design One grabs your teeniest lashes and coats them in color from root to tip. Plus, it's long wearing. You'll barely need touch-ups. I never touch up my mascara. Any of you ever touch up your mascara? That's, I don't even know. Tip is to wiggle the wand through the lashes in a zigzaggy motion from root to tip. 
And another thing that gets me with this mascara, the little stopper inside, when you pull, I don't know if you guys see that on my forehead, how gunky the wand already is before you even pull out the brush. It's just so gunky. Um, I have to like clean the wand off a little bit, you know, on the cap. That's another reason that it's not my favorite. It's just like messy. I don't know. But I will use it or it'll go in a giveaway. One or the other. What is this? Okay. It's Ofra. It's Ofra. There's the new packaging. Let's see if I can find this little booger in the booklets. Where you be? Oh, you're on the back. Oh, I just saw something else in the booklet. Okay. I already have on highlight. Well, we'll put on some more. <laughs> this is the Rodeo Drive highlighter. This is one of their best sellers. I think this was one of their first ones too. That is beautiful, guys. This is valued at $35. Oh, oh my gosh. Um, a universally flattering baked highlighter is a hybrid product you didn't know you needed. It reflects light, which is exactly what you'd expect from a highlighter, but the golden shade warms up all skin tones in a surprisingly natural looking, indetectable way. Guys, that's detectable. I mean, you just, a highlighter is detectable. <laughs> Tip applied to the highlights of your face, blah, 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 blah. Okay. Yes, I have on highlighter, but, um... I got to that's so pretty I'm just doing a little bit I don't want to go overkill because I am going to work speaking of work that's one of my updates I wanted to give you guys so there is Rodeo Drive super happy to get that oh my gosh next up since I'm on that page is a Huda Beauty obsessions palette in mauve okay when I bought this box I watched She Crafty's video and she got the highlight palette. That's why I originally ordered this box because I was hoping I would get that highlight palette. But that Ofra highlight is perfectly good. I got a Huda eyeshadow palette, guys. This is valued at $27 and there it is. Look how pretty. And it would have totally went with this shirt. I could have wore this today. We can actually touch up what I have on. Just a little, maybe. Just a little. Um, I'm gonna go into this. This we're gonna mix a couple of these shadows and just tap it right out here in the corner. Tap it. Just deepen up that corner. Of course. Shannon's got a flip shadow where it doesn't need to go, so. I like it. I'm gonna take this brush and I'm gonna go into this pink and just go right in the center of the lid. I think it needed something anyway, so. There we go. Okay, what I was saying about work. So there is the Huda palette. Last but not least, is something, it's a product, and it's from a company I've never tried. This is Pixie Beauty, and I'll tell you why I've never tried it. <laughs> it only sells at Target, and Target is 30 minutes away, and I very ever, ever rarely go into Target, and when I do, I just kind of glaze at the makeup. And I keep on going. I don't know why. I don't know. There's just something about Target. I just don't like Target. I, I know I'm one of the few people that don't like Target. Okay, this is a $15 value. It's Pixie by Petra Glow Mist. Set up your summer glow with this lightweight mist. It's formulated with 13 natural essential oils. Now, I have oily combo skin. Very oily in the T-zone. It has rose, flower, and lavender, aloe vera, fruit extracts to set your makeup, hydrate, protect, and give your skin a dewy, gorgeous glow. Shake it up, mist on the skin. It is sealed, Shannon, right? Yes. So, here we go. 
Now I'm wondering if this is going to make me too like oily. Shake it up really good. All right. You can definitely get those essential oils in that. Oh, my fan is over there. <laughs> but very pretty. All right, so what I was saying about my job. <laughs> you guys know, if you watched that video, I'm working two jobs. I was working, I went back to work at Ross. I had been there a week, and I was working a new job at a place very close to home, five minutes from my house. Also retail, much smaller store. And they had offered me the third key at the at the smaller place. And I was thinking about it. Well, the assistant manager just up and says she's leaving. And she put in a notice. And they had talked about to me about the assistant manager. And I told them I was interested. However, to take the assistant manager position... I couldn't work two jobs because they would need me to base, basically be like on call. And if I was working at the other job at Ross, I wouldn't be able to come in and work if they needed me at the new job. So I had to leave Ross. I had only been there two weeks and had to leave because I took the assistant manager position. And it has a lot of perks. It's five minutes from my house. I get a $75 clothing allowance every month. So I get to shop on the company. That's amazing. Um, we have a uh, juniors, missies plus we have dresses, we have men's, we have some housewares, we have shoes, we have accessories. Um, it's called factory connection and it's, it's a really cool little store to work at. Everybody in there is really good to work with. The manager's really great. The district manager's really great. And I'm super excited to do this. So, um, but yeah, one of the stipulations is I couldn't work both jobs. So I had to let that one go. And that's another reason I haven't been able to film is because I have been training a week and we're trying to get our store in order. So it's kind of kept me from being in front of the camera. But, um, Trying to get caught up today. I only have a couple videos I want to get done. So you're going to see this shirt a couple times. <laughs> but it's okay. Um, but yeah, I'm super excited about this Ipsy. It's such good stuff for the 26th. I mean, you know, one item is more than the whole box. I mean, you know, the cheapest thing I believe was this. And... The rest of it is is amazing amazing so super excited about this first box i can't wait to see what's in august box because this was july's box um i just got it really late because i ordered it like in the middle of the month and as always guys thanks for watching thanks for commenting subscribing hitting the like button and i'll see you guys on the next one